I am going to be resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft. The challenge is that I will only be able to draft and use right-handed players. Oh. I will then assemble my team and put them through an NHL 24 franchise simulation with the hopes of winning the Stanley Cup. Let's find out which team we're going to be drafting for. It is the Los Angeles Kings. Let's get it. No owner mode, no morale, no fog of war, and of course, no Jabronski. We do want this one though. It's kind of the whole point. I believe we're gonna have draft pick number seven. We're gonna have a high draft pick. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, nope. Again, the only benefit here is that we get to pick two players back to back. You know what? I've got a crazy one for you. Let's go with Sam Reinhardt as our first pick. Now I know this doesn't exactly work one-to-one -one for goalies because when you catch right, you don't necessarily shoot right. For example, I catch left, but I do shoot right. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going for the text right there. So shoots right, gloves right. We're running with it. I will not be going with Thompson just yet because he is 85 overall and we should be able to get him next round, but he is the highest overall right Glover we can get. An offensive defenseman, Dougie Hamilton, sure, why not? Sign him up. Oh wow, Allmark is still here, so we might be able to even get away with another full set, but I don't know if I want to risk it. Ovi and Reinhardt together could be absolutely disgusting, and we're about to find out if that's true. And why not throw old Joey on there too, you know? Right side, shoots right, 3.5 milli. Sure, he's 40 years old, but he's gonna make it work. Please still be there, Thompson. You're kidding me. In what world? There's an 87 and 86, and he's gone? At least we got Pavel. He's only one overall lower. I feel like I shouldn't have to take him yet, but I wasn't expecting Thompson to be gone either, so risk it no longer. Shall I? I don't know where I was going with that. I just turned into Yoda out of nowhere. Much to learn. Still I wonder if we'll still be able to have good defensive chemistry, even though they're all going to be the same handedness. It's possible. I wonder if we can find any left-handed defenders that shoot right as well. I'm not going to do that yet, but Chris Letang will be drafted. Primary left wing Andre Kuzmenko shoots right, and he is going to be the newest member of the LA Kings. And on top of that, we will add the Yeti, Brent Burns, for abilities. 87 overall, let's go Brent. $36 million of cap space, so we're still chilling. I cannot believe that Jonathan Huberto is down here at 85 overall. That is nuts, but yeah, hasn't been a good year for him. I wouldn't say he's doing terrible, but you know, compared to what we were used to seeing with Huberto, it's definitely unexpected, to say the least. What I'm gonna do personally is grab Charlie Coyle to be our second line center. And I'm also gonna scoop up Petrie because, well, he's 85 overall making 2.3. It's kind of hard to say no to that. I didn't know which one I wanted to grab out of these three because we need a right winger for that second line and strictly for the fact that he has two abilities, which I'm still not fully sure if it actually affects the simulation or not. But regardless, I'm gonna keep telling myself it does. So Jeberly at 5.5, welcome to the Los Angeles Kings. This kind of feels like a speed draft. We are flying through this one, and we're not gonna stop. No pumping of the brakes. Calais Yarncrook 2.1, welcome to the squadron. Just for old time's sake, and by old time's sake, I mean the start of NHL 24 when he was 85 overall, making 800K. We're gonna go with Buehler. Ooh, let me have some of that cool whip. I just wanna find one or two defenders that have at least slash lefty, but shoot right. Will we be able to? I don't know. Nick Bjugstad, you know. 81 face-offs, not amazing, but not terrible. And he's on a pretty good deal. So, yup. Did I forget about a backup goaltender? Yep, you could make that argument. Charlie Lindgren, what an absolute beast this guy is. All right, well, that worked out perfectly. We might be the oldest team in the league, but you know what? We're gonna be the most experienced. David Perron shoots right, he's a left wing. Get on the team. So there's a righty slash lefty that shoots left. So... We kind of just need the opposite. And there we go. Doesn't matter that it's his secondary position. Jan, welcome aboard. That's a really good deal, Mark Pizik. You are making some great points right now. Yeah, all right, fine. Two draft picks remaining. We still need two forwards and we still have 8.6 mil. So we are in a wonderful spot. For the sole purpose that we can, I'm drafting Brendan Gallagher. And it doesn't hurt to have another centerman. He also wears jersey number 72, so that is bonus points. Drafted by the Capitals. Fits within the cap nice and neatly. Gives us a little bit of wiggle room there. Not that we're going to use it for anything, but either way, Travis Boyd is joining our team. The draft is complete. <laughs> 
A little bit of a jump scare there from Tanev. Wasn't ready. First line has to be a plus five. Ovi, Pavelski, and Reinhardt? Are you serious? Kuzmenko, Coyle, and Eberle is also a disgusting second line. So you know what? I was very confident with our last team, and we were cheeks, but this time, I think we're going to be good. So let's get these lines together and see if I'm right. The first thing I'm going to do is go to roster moves to see if we have any imposters that need to be voted off. Hey, whoa, Edward, what do you think you're doing, pal? Get sent to the Shadow Realm. There is a negative 3% chance you make the team, but you shoot right, so I'm going to allow it. And both of our goalies glove right. All right, let's go see what the chemistry looks like. So we do have a plus 5 on the first line. The second line has 0. I'm assuming that's because no abilities on Coil and Kuzmenko, but I still feel like they're going to be nasty. Quick little sanity check here just to make sure everybody shoots right, you know? Can't uh, be too sure. Safety never takes a holiday. Security is a mission. They want Brent Burns down here? Well, that's a no. He can come up here and play with Latang. Dougie Hamilton is also going to be up here. What are we doing? This is why we don't let Jabroni do anything. Ice time allocation is normal. So you know what? I'm actually fine with this. We can have a zero on the first pair, but they're overall more than makes up for it. And then we got a two and a one. Awesome. Netminders, Pavel and Lindgren. No abilities between them, but you know what? I still believe that this team is going to be very successful. Actually, I take that back. I'm kind of having second thoughts, but you know what? I'm going to stick with it. Go with my gut instinct. Say that Reinhardt gets the most points with 90. The team gets 48 wins and we make the loss. Let's simulate. Big win there, opening night against the Colorado Avalanche, but we immediately get humbled by the jerks. Not the most ideal start in the world, but could be worse. Okay, let's just lose four games in a row. Five. Thank you for finally winning. Must feel pretty good. 48 wins is starting to look slightly bold. Maybe a bit of a stretch, but you know what? I'm holding strong. 30 wins at the deadline. We are currently third in our division behind... Alberta. The Kraken right behind us, one point. The Ducks, only three points back, so it's definitely gonna be a race. Just to see who's here. Jake Gensel, getting moved again. Team's interested, Pittsburgh. How about that? Lindholm, Montour, Bjorkstrand, some good players. And he shoots right, but no. I am going to stick it out with our squad. I was this close to trying to get Montour, but no, I bailed. Lindholm and two-fifths headed to New Jersey in exchange for two-firsts. And that guy. He's probably like a top prospect or something. I don't know. A first round pick and fair brother. Going to the Islanders in exchange for DeMello, a third and a fourth. Well, let me tell you, that trade is anything but fair brother. Another one. Two firsts and day. Headed to Philadelphia in exchange for Gensel, Kulak, a fifth, and Kasperi Kapanen. 18 more wins. We can do it. That is absolutely awful. Two straight losses after the deadline, but we bounce back. Definitely not getting 48, and we might not even make the playoffs. I genuinely cannot believe what I'm seeing. Oh my goodness, we did it. I thought we were done. 40 wins, and we snuck in. Yes! Yeah, we got extremely lucky. We were fifth in the division. The Boston Bruins won the President's Trophy. Let's see where we finished in the entire league. I'm curious to know. Okay, so you know what? Never mind. We still finished in the upper half of the league. Ovi with 84 points and a dash 28? I'm sorry? We're going to be doing some changing here because that's not okay. Kuzmenko, 50 points. Latang and Hamilton both did quite well. A 910, 907. Just above three and a 286. You know what, goaltenders, that is A-OK -okay with me. You did good. Jari with 43 wins, leads the league, had a 908 save percentage, just below a three GAA. The Gus Bus had 41 wins and he played seven less games. So that's pretty impressive. EK65, Kale McCarr, they both shoot right. Obviously we couldn't have got McCarr. He goes top five, I would assume, and probably even top three. We had the 30-second pick. I don't know what to tell you. Matthew Kachuk is your Art Ross winner with 116. Eichel right there with 113. Ranted in. Holy, there's a lot of players above 100. And the Rocket Richard goes to Kucherov with 56 tucks on the year. Good for you. What am I going to do with you guys? That's the question. What if I do that? Okay. This still stays at a plus 5. In fact, it's like a stronger plus 5. It goes up. It fills in that little tiny gap. Kuzmenko's a sniper. Two-way forward. Yeah. 
that's fine. We'll run with that. Eberly, you're being promoted. I feel like our defense were okay, so we don't need to worry about them too much. Latang had a lot of points considering he was on the second pair. He's probably top pair for power play, I would assume. First up, the President's Trophy winning Boston Bruins. They have Boone Jenner on the third line left wing. Does Henrique have a better faceoffs rating? Nope. First line consists of Robert Thomas, Hattrick Kane, and Johnny T. Very solid defense. They have Victor Hedman and Ekholm, which is filthy. And then DeHaan playing with Krug. Dylan on the third pair. 286 overall goaltenders. So they went with the two starter strategy. Bold. Our first round opponent, the Winnipeg Jets, they brought back Kyle Connor. Don't blame ya. They also brought in Sasha Barkov and Lucas Raymond. That is a good first line. A very young second line with Jack Quinn, McTavish, and Kaliev. That is crazy. They are gonna be nuts in the future. Who's gonna tell them? Darnell Nurse playing with Brandon Carlo. Nice. I feel like our defense is better. Offensively... It's probably kinda even. I still think we should have the edge, but... We'll see what the simulation engine thinks. And they have a bit of an advantage in the cage. But you know what? This looks like a team that's beatable, even though they did finish second in the entire league. But you know what? I'm not scared. Do I look nervous? <laughs> First three games, everybody knows the rules. Let's simulate and find out how we do. That's a wonderful start. We are 2-0, and and then we lose. But that's okay. We still have them against the wall here, kind of. No, we don't. It is a best of three. Don't you dare... They dared. I'm not even going to go into real-time sim because we're going to push a game seven. It's going to... All right. New Jersey and the Golden Knights. Let's go see what their teams look like. Oh, they look pretty good. They've got Goudreau Kopitar and Will Nye the hockey guy. That'll do it. Having Landy on the second line is crazy. Playing with Maximus Domi and Yams everywhere. They also just have Leo Carlson down here. Who's going to tell them? Actually, I guess they don't care too much because they're in the Stanley Cup final. So whether there's a future or not in this specific franchise mode, they don't care. Lindholm and Sider. Truba and Letty. Shattenkirk and Borgen. I totally understand why they are in the Stanley Cup final right now. Who's their goalie? <laughs> you can't make this up. And their opponent. Jesper Bratt, Braden Point, and Claude. Nice. Their second line's really good with Genther, Zaka, and Brust. Defensively, they have this guy. And you know what? Next time I have the option to draft Carlson, I'm just gonna do it. Whether I think it's too early or not, I feel like he's always at the top. Until I draft him, probably. And in net, they have Connor Ingram backed up by Samwise Montembeau. I believe New Jersey was up 1-0, but let's go see who takes home the cup. We'll go one day at a time here. New Jersey's up 2-0, and they go up 3-0. Is it going to be a Stanley Cup final sweep? Yes, it is. Holy smokes. Pure domination. They had A, B, and C captured. I'm proud of this guy. Clearly moving Pavelski to the second line worked a little bit because they put up points. The first line, no, nothing there. As much as it pains me to say this, I might have to stop drafting Ovi. I feel like this is back-to-back -back times that he just couldn't get it done. Fransu's got lit up like a Christmas tree back there. <laughs> Would it be any other way? No, it wouldn't. A 935 save percentage with a 217 GAA. Atta boy, Logan. So proud of you. Give him the con Smythe. Do it. You won't. Eric Carlson went nuts again. 25 points. The next defenseman had 12. So he more than doubled... The second guy. Claude Giroux had 22 points. Robertson had 22. Where are the New Jersey players at? If they don't give this trophy to Logan Thompson, I am uninstalling this game from my life. Team awards, we already know what's going on here. Individual trophies. Kachuk with the Art Ross, as we saw. The Art Heart combo stays intact. Kale Maker gets the James Norris trophy. The Lady Bing goes to EK65. Moment of truth. Never mind. I guess it's the next one. The Calder goes to Bedsy, and that's a joke. An absolute joke. Vezina and Jennings go to Vili Huso. Susie scoops up the Masterton, and Stahl grabs the Jack Adams. 
Selkie to Lindholm. Kachuk adds another piece of individual hardware. And as we saw, Cooch with the Rocket Richard. Here's your playoff tree. I'm kind of just glad we made it in. I didn't think we were going to, but we snuck in last minute and didn't get past round one. But we could have, you know, at least we had the potential to because we made it in. What a weird path for New Jersey. Not Well, not the path, but... Their roller coaster of emotions. They swept the first round, so they're like, we're chilling. And then they went to seven. And then they went to seven. So they must have been gassed. And then they swept in the finals. Appreciate you guys as always. If you have draft ideas, let me know. If you want to subscribe and like, I'm not going to say no. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.